Good evening, David again here in Tokyo with the next step in our Fox Moon production videos. As you can hear, I'm developing a bit of a sore throat for some reason, I'm not quite sure. So we'll keep the talking to a minimum this time and we'll bring you just a series of video clips showing the progress of that blank piece of wood I had last week, was it a week ago, last week, to the now finished key block to Jed's print. Let's have a look at how he got this far. The carving of this key block is going to work in three stages with three different kinds of tools. The first tool used is the one we call the chokokuto. It's just a normal carving knife, a bevel knife. You'll, you'll see close-ups as we go. And this is used first to cut round both sides of all the outlines on this block. Flask full of water is there to soften the light from the bulb. And I, without this, the shadow of the carving knife is too strong and gets in the way of the lines on the block. Hmm, look at the fox in there. It's very, very peaceful work as I slice away at the wood and uh, the hours just, just slip by as I move across various parts of design, uh, working at it here and there. Although, of course, I'm very careful with all parts of the design, when you get something like the face, where there's eyes or a mouth and a, an expression is very, very important, at that point, it's absolutely critical to capture exactly every tiny nuance of Jet's brush movement. This was fun. I know it's just showing off, really. There's no reason to do it this way, but uh, I thought I'd see if I could pull this sword off in, in one piece. <laughs> So here we are at the point where all the key lines are done. The back isn't cleared yet, but all the work with the chokokuto is now finished. And time to make some noise. I mentioned three kinds of tools, and this is the second kind, the clearing chisels. They're used with the hammer, and uh, there is a couple of types of U-gouge, which you'll see here, and then one uh, a wide, flat chisel as well. The idea, of course, is to get as much wood out of the way as quickly as possible. We don't need to waste any time here. And uh, just get a good sharpened edge on that gouge and blast away. These tools are fun, and uh, I pull away more wood in any five seconds here than I do with uh, five hours of work with the previous tool. <laughs> This is the third of the three types of tools. It's the they're the bull nose chisels. They're basically flat with a slight corner on the edge. And they're used now to remove the waste wood between the two previous zones. I cut against the line with the normal cutting knife, and I cleared away the waste wood with the wide chisels. This now removes that last bit of wood in between those two areas. And here we are, coming up to the last few seconds of work on this block, just the last corner. Beautiful hard wood just slices away, just so clean. So here we are, the key block is basically done. It's not washed yet, that'll be the next step to wash it off and then I'll take some light impressions with a, a, a light pigment 
so that I can check the lines and make some uh, carving adjustments as, as needs be. But, uh, but this is it. There's Jed's design, the fox and his three friends. And uh, I wonder how many hundreds of copies we'll be printing from this once we get going. So there you have some video clips showing that step-by-step -step procedure of getting this far with the block. I know these key blocks, when they're just finished carving, they're just the most beautiful objects, you know. I know I'll take some close-up shots tomorrow so you can see a bit more carefully. But before the black pigment goes on, it's just such a beautiful object. And honestly speaking, I, I always have the same feeling. I never want to spoil it with the black pigment. But uh, the end goal is to make a print, not a carved piece of wood. So uh, away we go. So a few more days now, the next step is going to be do the color, not color proofing, the, you know, take some test impressions from this block, figure out the color separations and start the color block carving. So I'll bring you the next video either at the stage of finishing the color blocks or getting them ready. I'm not quite sure which. I'll see you at that time. Uh, but before I sign off tonight, I should perhaps explain something else. In the window behind me, and if you're here, we've got some other work going on in the studio here tonight. It wouldn't be fair not to show you who it is. Let me get behind the camera for a minute. This is a young Nanami Ishida. She's my neighbor actually. She lives exactly next door. Oh, and you can see what she's doing. Very nice. She's working on the brand new yet unpublished set of two chibi prints. She's doing a very, very good job for us. She's been here about uh, two months, three months maybe, I'm not really quite sure. And uh, she's a smart, sharp girl with a good touch. And she's doing a beautiful, beautiful job on these prints. And if she uh, stays with it and uh, if she has enough time in the middle of all her studies, who knows? Perhaps one day she'll be printing fox moons, who knows? Yeah, Nanami-chan, sayonara. Thank you.